Did you do it again? Uh, not unless I had to. I was trying to do my hair. Hey, we're on the Amtrak. what's worse you know showing up in flats with the evening gown or <laughs> showing up in these shoes hello everybody it is monday 5 21 i'm about to make dinner um i just got back from my gynecologic exam not my own but one that i did myself which is crazy to think about especially as somebody who wants to be an OBGYN. it was definitely it was something I was not expecting it to like be like that um, and I enjoyed it I felt like it was a good time so um, I'm just gonna cook chill out and let me close my door because my music is playing outside yesterday I went to shadow in the ER it wasn't that eventful but um, it was still fun to do something really didn't do anything else my line sister came and visited this weekend so we kind of chilled this morning but I'm also gonna chill today but I just like to relax like a few days after my LPA because I just crammed like crazy because I went out of town for my Neos probate shout out to my Neos love them but I went out of town and that was kind of a mistake but it paid off because I didn't fail um, but I just need to prepare better for when I go out of town because that was like unacceptable making a salmon bowl because it's easy and it's like easy to meal prep um, this week I'm going to AMEC, which is a conference for SNMA, and I'm super excited. Um, also today I was walking into the library. They're doing a tour for the uh, med school, and somebody told me that they recognized me from YouTube, which was so cute. But, um, so yeah, shout out to you if you watch, or if you just see me, like, a couple times. If you are a watcher, like, shout out to you. Also, ignore this, like, oh my god. Ignore the stray lash. I had individual lashes and I can't get this one off. Hopefully Annie or somebody will help me tonight get them off, but I'm struggling. So I'm talking to my potential roommate on Thursday. I'm gonna meet her, see how the vibes are. Mm -hmm. I hope it works out with her because this one would be so easy and I wouldn't have to pay a broken street. Hey y'all, I'm here with Annie. <laughs> and I'm, we had our like guy and, and GU, you had both? And how did you feel about them? You know, nothing was as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. You know, I told my whole family, like, this is what I'm going to do. And they were all messaging me, like, yo, what? But <laughs> Stick a finger up somebody's butt. Not well. bad. Yeah. Not bad. I mean, you know, when he, he, they finally turn around and, you know, you're going to do what you're about to do. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, and you got to spread the cheeks it. for yeah, the prostate. Was, yeah. Um... <laughs> But ultimately, not not bad at all. Yeah. Not bad at all. Quick. What did you feel about the guy? And like the the guy I liked. Yeah. Um, we both are interested in OB, OB guy. If you right. didn't know, N nothing really phased me about that at all. But I don't know if it's because it's like also my own anatomy that yeah nothing surprised me there. Yeah. Geo, couple eye opening moments. Yeah. But <laughs> overall, good learning experience. Yeah. Did you do it again? Uh, not unless I had to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, well, we'll just talk to you guys later. If anybody is wondering how my morning is going, I was trying to do my hair. <laughs> and this happened. And then this happened too. I was trying to do my edges, so we're going to let this terrible start to my morning go. And... It'll, it's just, it'll still be a good day. That's what I'm saying, at least. Hey, y'all, it's 8 o'clock, and I'm packing for AMEC. I don't really know what to bring. I'm just bringing, like, everything, because I don't really know the vibes. I didn't do a lot of research on the conference. Like, I know that it's supposed to be a fun conference, and I know it's supposed to be black people, and I'm co-president of SNMA, so I'm going. But I don't really know much beyond that. Like, I know the schedule and, like, the little itinerary they sent out. But, yeah, nothing more. All that being said, I'm excited because I'm okay with, like, the unknown. And if I get bored or whatever, then I'll just go and study because I haven't really done anything this week. When you have a three-week block, it just, like, the world feels like your oyster. 
and so you don't want to do any work but you need to so I'm just gonna read a little watch some Love Island so I can catch up on that I'm making a Love Island ranking PowerPoint because I think it would be fun and my friend Steven is um, gonna watch it but people always ask me what my favorites are and so now I want to make a ranking like saying my favorites because I feel like I have time and I want to make a PowerPoint about it I don't really know I'll take y'all with me to AMEC so yeah I don't know why my lighting changed all of a sudden I will talk to you guys later it's Wednesday um, I've kind of packed and like figured stuff out but I just found out that people go out at AMEC so yeah I need to pack like a new suitcase and I don't have enough clothes now because I need options and things like that so yeah, we got a class at like 12 today, so I'm just going to run back and pack last minute per use. I haven't really started any work, so that's always fun. I'm going to do some work on the plane, I mean, on the train, and we'll update y'all when we get on the train and stuff. But I have like a couple meetings to do tonight, so good thing the conference doesn't start until tomorrow because I just feel a little... Out of whack. I'll check in with y'all later. Hey, we're on the Amtrak. Um, going to Hartford, Connecticut. Ladies. Ah, wait, I wish you get yourself together. I'm sorry. You know, we're not <laughs> we're not as dressed up as we will be at the conference. Right, but right. but are you guys excited? Yeah. Okay. Finally gonna be around people. Yeah. Even though we'll be in Hartford, Connecticut. Um, but yeah, we're excited. We're, we have a long layover. Um, that's like from 5 to 8. Yeah. 5.30 to 8, I think. So that'll be a while. So I, I might vlog then. But I think I'm going to try to, like, I don't know, read, take a nap. Anyways, I'll check back in with y'all later. Good morning, it is 8.10. I'm gonna trust that microwave. We're a little tired, um, but we will be on our way at 8.15 and um, we have to like register. What's the first thing? Open ceremony. Open ceremony. Everyone's getting dressed. Say hey y'all. Well, I'll check in with you guys later. Hey y'all, we're here at the conference. Hi. Okay. Um, and the opening ceremony is about to happen. It's a super beautiful venue. Let's take a little pee. I'm gorgeous. How many people is here? Monsters? Yeah, I think 1,600. They're over capacity, but yeah. Um, the convention center is really nice, so I'll, you know, check in with y'all when the opening ceremony starts. ...conduct the business of the SNA. I encourage you all to attend the House of Delegate sessions this whole weekend and to learn how the organization operates. HOV is for you, and you are the voice of the SNA. Hey, y'all, we're about to go get lunch. We're on the bus. We're going to go to this Italian place. Um, pasta. SNMA. Yeah, pasta. Tati the real pasta yeah, girly. Pasta girly. Or, like SNMA was nice enough to book this bus. I mean, they it was. Oh, a, it's the convention center, actually. Oh, it was. It wasn't them. <laughs> okay. Yikes. <laughs> but they're gonna like they have different stops for food, so we're gonna go. Um, what's it called? Um, Salido. Trum, trum, trum. No, that one was closed. Solano. Uh, I don't I know. know. I thought it was salute. So the salute. I don't know why I'm making it as high. We're gonna. Eat some food. I'm feeling a little delirious and a little hangry. So hopefully once we get some food, we'll feel revitalized. But I'll check in with you guys later. So we're at the Obi Guard Specialty Speed Dating Table. And we have a couple of students gonna do a state um first. This is the C section. Three, we're about to walk to get some food. Uh, we were gonna potentially go out tonight, but 
Tati says she's only going out once this weekend because she's going to study. And Takai said twice. There's hair in my mouth. And it's Thursday. So we got way too much time to just go out the first night and then never go out again. And I don't know nobody else, so I'm stuck with them. <laughs> If I haven't worked in all my life second day of AMAC. Um, it's Friday. We're about to go to breakfast. It's 7.50 and we're tired but it's okay. We have like, what is this? The emergency thing? We have an intubation session. Yeah, 8.30. Um, at 8.30 so we're gonna go down and get breakfast and then we're gonna intubate some dummies so real exciting stuff um, I'll update you throughout the day I wish I could have more energy right now maybe there's coffee downstairs so TTYL XOX <laughs> Hey, it's 11 o'clock. We just came from a few little um, like seminars where we did um, IV and we also did, I don't know, I keep forgetting. Oh, intubation, which was super fun. And um, the video is going to be like vertical, but I'll put like a little clip in it. You see? You see? Yeah. Hey y'all, it is 7.35, we're just waking up from our nap. <laughs> um, it was a deep nap for some, I was kind of <laughs> tossing and turning. Um, but yeah, we're going to go out to dinner and then we don't, uh, what are we going to do? This I was supposed to stay tonight. So we don't know what we're going to do. But um, we're just going to play it by ear. See what people are saying are the moves. And then go from there, I guess. Um, but we're going to this... I don't know what the restaurant's called. But all the restaurants seem a little pricey. And we don't want to spend like $30 on a plate of mediocre pasta. Because frankly, I feel like the food's been like eh in Hartford, Connecticut, which is not unexpected because it's like Hartford, Connecticut. But yeah, um, so I'll check in with you guys later. Hey y'all, it's 9.25. I won't show Takaya because she's getting dressed, but it's the last day. Wait, what's today? Saturday. Okay, it's not, it's the last day we'll be here because there's like, I think probably some closing ceremony on Sunday, but we're not gonna be here. And we have the gala tonight. I'll be wearing the same dress I wore for our med school gala because, like, I'm not buying another <laughs> dress for this. But, um, which is also my prom dress, so obviously I'm a very resourceful, recyclable girl. <laughs> uh, the conference has been really, like, eye-opening, a lot of helpful tips and tricks to, like, get ahead in medicine. We haven't really gone out, um, so tonight we're hoping to go to the Grown and Sexy. And then obviously the gala, like, hopefully they got a DJ there. And, like, that's something that is fun. But, yeah, we also need to pack before we... What time is the train? 7.59 a.m. Oh, It'll be a busy day, but <clears throat> I keep forgetting to film stuff, um, which is, like, always my issue. We're going to be working the booths um, 
and trying to like recruit some people for BU, doing for most of the day, but there's an OBGYN skills session at 9.30, even though it's 9.27, um, but we're about to leave, so I'll just be late, but anyways, I will talk to you later. Hey y'all, it is 5.22, the gala starts at six o'clock. Um, we're not ready. We're still doing Takai's makeup, but everybody's like getting ready. I forgot some shoes, so Takai's letting me wear hers. Not my first choice in shoes for this dress. So if you see me at the conference. Oh, you don't wanna wear flats? Cause I got black flats you can wear. No. I don't know, like I don't know what's worse, you know, showing up in flats with the evening gown or <laughs> showing up in these shoes, but, you know. <laughs> what can you do? And I don't, the light is just too freaking harsh. Yeah, so it's, it's rough times, but we're going to leave in like five minutes and then be on our way to the banquet. I'm not going to bring the camera in there because I don't have a purse to fit it, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey y'all, we're back from the gala, already back in our lounge clothes, but we're going out. It's just, we're chilling right now. yeah, <laughs> it's like nine o'clock and we're gonna try to go out by 11. So Tati is in the bed. It's um, cold. Yeah, it's freezing because she's under the covers. <laughs> Let's hope that she comes out um, from under the bed because yeah. I don't trust it. Anyways, I'll check in with y'all later. Hey y'all, we're back from the party. It was cute. It was like hectic and not necessarily what I was expecting, but it was cute. The party. What did you think? It was. It was lame. Yeah. It like. I think certain people had a good time. Yeah, we paid forty dollars because we paid late for it, but yeah, it wasn't worth forty dollars at all, at all. Um, and I think what I've learned is that. I'm not Caribbean, I'm not African, and a lot of black people in medicine are Caribbean and African. And great people, love the culture, so fun. I knew some of the, the songs. I might need to learn some of the African dances, but like tonight, I just didn't really know them. I didn't. And they played some African American music, they played some like black American music, but few and far between. Um, so it's hard to like jam out. Oh my God. It's hard to jam out and have a good time when you don't know like half the songs, but it was a vibe or whatever. So now we're gonna like halfway pack. I'm a morning packer myself. And um, I don't even wanna show you our room cause it's like in disaster. Ooh, you can see it, but we were like rushing to go out. And like, that's just like how life works sometimes. But yeah, it was like chill. Wasn't too crazy. Glad well, we went out anyways. Long line. We were in line for like 30 minutes, but whatever. So yeah, I will chat with you guys in the morning when we're leaving. Hey y'all, it's Monday. Um, I literally just was traveling all day yesterday. So now I'm trying to catch up. All the um, work that I have, unpack. And then my line sister is staying here as well today and maybe tomorrow maybe Wednesday I'm not really sure so yeah I'm just gonna like try to catch up on all the work that I have but AMEC was so fun let me close my door AMEC was so fun um I definitely recommend pre-med students to go just so you can get exposure talk to med schools and see what like they their requirements are have them see your face Cause I feel like that's a great tool. Like when they see you for interviews, maybe they'll recognize you and maybe that would benefit you if you make a good enough impression on them. And then for med students, like definitely go. Just to be clear, like this is a like minority conference. SNMA was created for black students, but it's basically expanded in order to like fit the needs of all minoritized students or URMs. Um, and so, yeah, of course there's other orgs that represent other ethnicities. Anybody can come but it really is a space for black folks. And so if you are black and in medicine, like I think that you would really benefit in going. And next year it's in New Orleans, which is super exciting. So I hope to be there. I will go again. It was really fun and I enjoyed my time there. So yeah, definitely a really fruitful, rejuvenating experience. And I feel like seeing a bunch of black physicians kind of gave me more inspiration. And I, I feel like I got a lot of advice 
on what my next step should be. So I'm just really thankful for the weekend. And yeah, so I will check in with you guys later, but thanks for watching.